Try these questions yourself. When you've done them, then watch the clip. Here's question 1. This is question 2. And this is question 3. So let's do question 1. y is equal to 3x squared plus 3 plus now if you have 1 over x squared you take the x squared to the top and the power becomes negative now we differentiate so d by dx is equal to 3 times 2 so 6 x when we differentiate 3 that's nothing then we have minus 2 x to the power minus 3 so we have dy dx 6x minus 2 divided by x cubed now point A we substitute x equal to 1 into this d by dx so we get the answer 6 minus 2 divided by 1 which is just 2 so the answer is 4 point b we substitute x equal to 2 so that's 6 times 2 minus 2 divided by 2 cubed so that's 12 minus 2 divided by 8. So 12 minus 1 quarter. That's 11 and 3 quarters. Point C. substitute x equal to 3 6 times 3 minus 2 divided by 3 cubed so that's 18 minus 2 divided by 27 we can rewrite that as 17 plus 1 minus 2 divided by 27 now work out this first so that's 27 minus 2 is 25 over 27. So the final answer will be 17 and 25 over 27. Question 2. So we differentiate. 4 times 1 quarter is 1. So that's x cubed minus 8x and the derivative is equal to 0 so put that equal to 0 x is a common factor so that's x minus 8 in a bracket so we get two solutions x is equal to 0 or this is x squared there x squared is equal to 8 so x is plus or minus root 8 and that is plus or minus 2 root 2 so we have solutions x equal to 0 or x is equal to plus or minus 2 root 2 This is question 3. First, we differentiate. d by dx is equal to 3x squared minus 11. Now, this is the equation of the gradient, and the gradient is equal to 1. So, we put this equal to 1. Then, we add 11 on both sides. So we get 3x squared is equal to 12 divided by 3. 
So x squared is equal to 4. This means x is equal to also minus 2. So y is equal to x cubed minus 11 x plus 1. So when x is minus 2, so y is going to be minus 2 cubed minus 11 times minus 2 plus 1. So that's minus 8 plus 22 plus 1. So that's equal to 15. So when y is equal to 2, so that's 2 cubed minus 11 times 2 plus 1. So that's 8 minus 22 plus 1. This is minus 13. So we've got two set of coordinates of so the solution. And x is minus 2, y is 15. And when x is 2, y is minus 13. Just quickly tell you something about fractions. Suppose you've got a fraction 25 minus 3 divided by 11. So what do you do? Write 24 plus 1 minus 3 divided by 11. Then deal with this part here. So that's basically 11 divided by 11 minus 3 over 11. So that's 8 divided by 11. So your final answer is here. 24 and 8 over 11.